Okay, so I was playing through Mass Effect 3 on the Citadel DLC when I came across a scene um, in it that I only come across once before. And something about the scene seems familiar to me. And not the beat for beat, but I felt like the basic setup of the scene was familiar. And what they were doing. And then it hit me. There's an unofficial remake of the... Uh, James Bond movie Thunderball called Never Say Never Again, which is actually the last time Sean Connery appeared as Bond. I'll get, I'll be doing a review of it at some point, and I'll get into the whole history of that at a later date. However, um, however, um, this scene in Mass Effect 2 seems very much, in Mass Effect 3, I mean, seems very much inspired by it, and, um, well, I'll show you the scene from the Bond movie, and then I'll show you the scene from um, Mass Effect 3, and you can judge for yourself. These are my friends. They honored me by coming from all over the world to lose their money for my favorite charity. And what might that be? Children. Orphan children. So, here we are. The game is called Domination. I designed it myself. But my problem is I've never yet found a worthy adversary. No doubt, I shall disappoint you too. Hmm. We'll see. Darling. This game has one objective. Power. We will be fighting for countries chosen at random by the machine. But for this demonstration, I will choose France. Target areas will light up on the map. Whoever hits them first with his laser beam will score a point. But there's another way to win. With your left hand, you control two nuclear missiles. With your right hand, you control a shield to block my missiles. But if you fail, boom, I win the game. You will be red. I will be blue. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. Thank you, gentlemen. The eternal battle for the domination of the world begins. We play for dollars. Random target selection, Spain. Value $9,000. Play. Who wins $9,000? Give me a shock. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Unlike armchair generals, we will share the pain of our soldiers in form of electric shocks. One last point. If you let go the controls, you forfeit the game. As you were unaware of this, we will begin again. Reset. Thank you. Random target selection. Japan. Value $16,000. A lucky move on my part. Perhaps I didn't explain. As the stakes increase, so does the level of pain. Rather like life. We continue. Of course. Good. The eternal battle for the domination of the world begins. Random target selection, the United States. Value $42,000. Play.
$58,000. It goes, of course, to my charity. I think it's better if we don't continue. Can we play one more game for the rest of the world? Win or lose? You know what that could mean. use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist? Commander? Kick her ass. Roger that. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman. But she just lost her last frigate. Ah! 
traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. <laughs> 